Hey, this is Jason Fitzgerald with Strength Running, and I want to talk about hill training today. Hill training is arguably some of the most beneficial types of workouts and overall training that runners can do because of what it does for us. And I just got a question asking, what can I do if I don't have access to hills? What other things can I implement in my training if I don't have hills to do workouts on, if I don't have rolling terrain for my long runs, what can I do to still get the benefits of running on hills if I don't have any hills? So if you find yourself living in an area with absolutely no hills to train on, there are some options for you. Now, first let's talk about what hills actually do for us because then that will help us understand what other activities we can do that will help us get the same benefits. So number one, I think when we're doing structured hill workouts, things like six times a minute uphill at your 5K effort, or 10 times 90 seconds, five times three minutes, there's all these variations of hill workouts that we can do, but one of the benefits that we get from these workouts is power. We build power by running hills, by working against gravity, by trying to run hard up a steeper hill. We are building power in a way that we simply can't unless we're running really, really fast on a track. Hills also build speed and strength. Frank Shorter famously said that hills are speed work in disguise, and I couldn't agree more. It's a beautiful saying, and it's absolutely true. If you run hill workouts, you're gonna be developing speed. And in fact, if you just run rolling terrain during your easy runs, during your long runs, you are gonna develop a certain amount of strength that then translates to faster racing performances. But the strength component is really interesting to me, and I don't wanna gloss over it because hill running is essentially very specific strength training for runners. You are lifting your own body weight, you are doing it in a motion that's extremely specific to running because it is running, and by working against gravity, you're getting a stronger stimulus for building strength than if you were just running on flat ground. So strength is a big component of why we run hills. Now, we also run hills for injury prevention reasons. Hills, because they build strength, help toughen our connective tissues, build strength in our muscles, and even the downhill portion of running hills, even if you're not running them hard, help toughen our muscles, connective tissues, and bones to further stress that we're gonna experience in the training cycle. So clearly, a lot to love about hill running. But what if you don't have any hills? Well, one of the things that you can do, and studies have shown that the best hill runners are actually just the runners that are in the best shape. So the first thing that you can do is run a lot. Run high mileage so that you get in the best shape possible so that if there is a hill in the course that you're trying to prepare for, you're gonna be more capable going up that hill. You're gonna have a higher endurance. You're gonna have more uh, capability to get up that hill because of that high mileage. Now, for the strength, the power, the injury prevention benefits of hill training, the number one thing we can do is lift weights. And while body weight strength exercises are very good for runners, weightlifting in the gym is even better. And it's much more specific to the demands of hill training and hill workouts. So we're not gonna develop too much power doing body weight squats. But if we do heavy squats, and particularly if we do more explosive oriented lifting exercises, then we are definitely going to be building a lot of power into our training. So these are some really valuable ways of building the benefits of hill training into your schedule. Focus on running high mileage, lift weights if you can, get into the gym at least twice a week so that you can really focus on building that strength and that power that then carries over really well into your training. Now, even if you do live in an area that is completely flat, you live in the heartland, then we're not really gonna be able to find too many hills. However, there are other ways of running up a hill without needing hilly terrain. You can run up a parking garage on-ramp. Now, 
please <laughs> find a parking garage where there's not a lot of cars and do this in a really safe way. But a lot of my clients have parking garages near them where you know you drive up that circular ramp up to all the levels of the garage and they can actually do workouts there. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend this all the time, but I think several times during a season, it can be a really valuable way to do a hill workout without actually having a hill. Now, the other way that you can do a hill workout without having a hill is to run on a bridge. Anyone who's run the New York City Marathon knows that the bridges going from borough to borough are fairly substantial hills, even though they're, the rest of the New York City Marathon course is relatively flat besides a hill, I think at around mile 23 near Central Park. But you can also run bridges going over bodies of water because they naturally rise and fall. So you can use those for workouts. I have several clients in Florida who use this strategy to run their hill workouts. So if you can't run hill workouts, then we can run high mileage. We can do our strength training. And we can also try to find those training venues that mimic hills without actually having that hilly terrain. Now, for those runners who are regularly running hills, you are going to be a more robust runner. You're going to have the power to get up those hills. The injury prevention benefits are gonna keep you healthier for longer. And so I wanna encourage everyone to, to implement hill training in their schedule in some way, even if that's just running hilly terrain for, on your next long run. And if you can't do hill workouts, you either find a replacement venue that somewhat mimics a hill, or you can get in the gym, you can run high mileage, and you can do it that way. And I promise you, you will be a better runner for it.